What's up? It is like a hundred degrees today. Um, absolutely, absolutely drenched right now. It, it's terrible. Um, the one thing, you know, I kind of give you updates on a lot of different stuff. Um, you know, I do a lot of reviews and stuff, obviously, on equipment that I have or and stuff like that. Or other equipment, you know, that's coming out, stuff like that. But anyway, I've been uh, letting you follow a little bit along with this mower. I'm going to give you one con about this mower. And it, it really it really is a big con. Um, there is absolutely no way to know how much gas is in these tanks. Now, a lot of these mowers, you know, the Hustler Raptor, the normal entry grade type zero turns they have that little you know window that kind of shows you you know at least you can kind of see it when you're getting low you know the hustler one was was pretty good i mean you knew when you were low and you knew when you had a, a full tank um you know to run a mower like this in a commercial setting and not be able to know how much gas you have it's it's a big big con um I'm not sure why Bobcat would make um, a mower with a six gallon tank and absolutely no way to know how much gas is in it. Um, yeah, you know, totally honest. Um, it's it's one of the, the bigger cons to this mower. Just be aware of it because, you know, you might not think it's a big deal, but it kind of is a big deal because um, you will run out of gas sooner or later. Um, you know, you're going to estimate wrong. You're going to maybe forget to bring your gas cans. And, you know, you don't know how much fuel's in there. Um, it's just going to happen. Um, so, I'm just putting it out there. Take for what it is. But, um, you know, besides that, it's a great mower. But that is definitely, you know, something that, you know, doesn't make sense. And you can easily have put, I'm sure some kind of window here to let you know how much gas is in at least one of the tanks i mean you're running on you have you're it's a, it's a complete guessing game and you know if a two thousand dollar zero turn you know those entry level time cutters at home depot can have some kind of a fuel gauge um this mower should have something like that but that's about it but yeah it's hot as hell um I'm not getting the, it's so hot and the grass is just really dried out. I haven't, I'm not going to be able to get really good footage of putting that, uh, that Poland Pro to the test. So, um, we're going to try it again maybe tomorrow. Um, but if I, I still got two more lawns to do here. Um, this is my fourth one of the day. I got two more and if I can get some real grass footage, I will. I might be able to get it actually, um, this one lawn. But we'll see. But just wanted to give you a little update. Um, I didn't know if I was just like I'm mowing here and I just finished up. I'm like, you know what? I got to let these guys, you know, I kind of been talking really high about this mower. Um, you know, because the, the major thing with this mower is the price point. It, it's, it's pretty good. I mean, you're really not going to get all this at this price point anywhere really else. But, you know, I'm not saying it's better than any other mower. It's just, for what I wanted, I think it was the best uh, best mower for my dollar, so to speak. But that gas tank gauge thing is, is huge. And, hey, I might come across some others, and if I do, I'm going to let you know. That's just what this channel's about, and, you know, I'm just always honest with you people. So, that's about it. I will let you know. Um, I'll let you know. Well, you'll see it if I can get some footage of that Poland Pro in action. But if not, I will get it tomorrow. All right? All right.